In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. God comes in our life in order to do great and wonderful works for our good. Sometimes we don't understand them. Sometimes they may be not according to our plans. But God is always does what is good for us. So as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us recognize and understand God's ways in our life, His great and mighty deeds in our life, so that we may be able to accept them as God's will in our life. For all our failures, we ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly, to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Apocalypse. What I, John, saw in heaven was a great and wonderful sign. Seven angels were bringing the seven plagues that are the last of all, because they exhaust the anger of God. I seemed to see a glass lake suffused with fire and standing by the lake of glass. Those who had fought against the beast and won, and against his statue and the number which is his name. They all had harps from God, and they were singing the hymn of Moses, the servant of God and of the Lamb. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty! Just and true are all your ways, King of nations, who would not revere and praise your name, O Lord. You alone are the holy, and all the pagans will come and adore you for the many acts of justice you have shown. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. How great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God Almighty. Let the sea on all within its thunder. 
the world and all its peoples. Let the river clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord. For the Lord comes, He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice, and the peoples will fairness. How great and wonderful are all your works, God Almighty. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, praying at all times, for the strength to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Men will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to imprisonment, and bring you before kings and governors because of my sin, because of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You are not to prepare your defense, because I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will win you your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. 
he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death o lord until, until you come, come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope paul our bishop and all the clergy religious and your faithful remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with blessed apostles saint francis of assisi saint paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen with trust and confidence let us pray to our heavenly father in the words our savior gave us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace and joy in our days that by the help of your love and mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, for the, kingdom the, the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church graciously grant us peace joy and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god to take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god to take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god to take away the sins of the world grant us peace this is jesus christ the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world happy are we who are called to the banquet of his love lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you 
Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Let us pray for the healing from coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that their efforts to curb this pandemic may bear good results. We pray for all the people, especially our parish people, that they may remain strong and committed in their faith and belief. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wish you a blessed day. God bless you.